This lesson deals with a phaser example using current divider. You can find these notes in the ECE202 ebook in chapter 8, starting on page 24. Given this example of an inductor and a parallel resistor and capacitor, can you find the current I sub L of T, I sub C of T, I sub R of T, and V out in steady state? In the next video, we'll do a comparison with piecewise. Again, we're going to use our three step algorithm. So the first step is to convert from the time domain to the frequency domain. So our voltage source V sub S is 100 at angle zero, has an omega of 2000 radians per second, and now we can find our other variables. So here's the current I sub L as a phasor I sub L, a phasor I sub C, and a phasor I sub R, and a phasor V out. The inductance becomes J omega L, so J2000 times 0.25 Henry's gives me J500 ohms, for the capacitor, I have a minus J over omega C. Omega is 2000, C is 0.5 microfarads, and the reciprocal of that is minus J 1000 ohms. And then the 3K resistor is still the 3K resistor. Step two, we'll do the analysis. Since we want to find this current here, I sub L, let's find the impedance looking into this circuit. And then we'll just divide that impedance into V sub S. We have J 500 ohms in series with this parallel combination of minus J1000 and 3000. So I'll take the product over the sum. So I have 3K minus J1000. And then I'll find a common denominator of the same value. So I'll multiply this times J500. So I'll get a J squared with a minus sign. So I'll cancel, I get 500K. And then 3K times J500 is J1.5 million. And then this product over here, I'm just gonna add that in, is a minus J3 million. So we got 500K. And then the difference of these two is a minus J 1.5 million. Again, we use the letter M for, for 10 to the sixth. In SPICE, that would be MEG. So we're taking a ratio, let's put this into polar form. So the magnitude of this would be a little bit bigger than one and a half million. So I found that it was 1.58 million on my calculator. The angle's in the fourth quadrant, and it's gonna be closer to minus 90 degrees because this is shorter than this. So I get a minus 71.565. So it seems reasonable. So for the denominator here, I'll get a magnitude a little bit longer than 3,000. I'll be between minus 45 and zero because this is shorter than this. So again, this seems reasonable. Ratio of these two is about 500. Angle in numerator, minus angle in denominator, gives me a minus 53.13. So knowing that impedance now, I'm gonna divide that into the voltage 100 at angle zero and get the current I sub L. So I sub L is 100 at angle zero divided by 500 at angle minus 53.13. This turns out to be 0.2 or 200 milli. And then subtracting this angle, we get a plus 53.13. I'll show you another idea here. So I know this current now coming in here, it's gonna split between these two elements, come back out the other side. So we can use current divider here, even though we don't have a current source, we, do have, we have a known current entering this parallel combination. So let's solve for the current in the capacitor first. It's gonna be the other element if we use the impedance current divider. So it'll be the 3K resistor over the sum of the two times the current, which was 200 milli at angle 53.13 degrees. This is really 3K at angle zero. We found this before. This is 3.1622K at minus 18.435. Okay, so we're gonna add up these two angles and subtract this one. So we'll get a plus 53.13 and then a plus 18.435, and that's 71.565. This is close to being one, so be a little bit smaller than 200 milli. It's 189.71 milli. Okay, we know the current in the inductor. We know the current in the capacitor, so we could find the current in the resistor. So this is the current that's entering. That then goes into the capacitor and the resistor, so I'll bring the capacitor over here. I'm doing Kirchhoff's current law for this. We could also do current divider again, just trying to use our different techniques. So this was a 200 milli at 53.13. There's a minus 189.71 milli at an angle of 71.565 degrees. Now since we're going to be subtracting these two, let's put them into rectangular form. So I'll convert this then to a real and imaginary part. Again, do using my calculator to do this. And I get 0.12 and plus J 0.16. 0.06 plus J 0.18. Okay, now we're going to add this together. Add the real parts, add the imaginary parts. So the sum of these two, because of the minus sign, will be 0.06, and then we're gonna add this one and subtract this one, we get 0.02 minus J. Gonna punch these in our calculator. 
I get 63.25 milli, and so minus 18.435. So lastly, let's find the output voltage. Since we know the current in the resistor and the value of the resistor, we can find the voltage across it. Okay, so that was 63.25 milliamps at angle minus 18.435 degrees, and then the resistor is just 3K, or 3K at angle zero. So I'm just gonna multiply this magnitude times this. The zero angle won't change this. So I get 189.75, an angle of minus 18.435. Now I'm ready for my last step, and that is to find my four variables in the time domain by simply putting the cosine of omega t between the magnitude and the angle. So I got 200 milli cosine of 2kt plus 53.13 degrees amps. For I sub c, 189.71 milli cosine of 2kt plus 71.565 amps. For I sub R, 63.25 milli, cosine of 2000 T minus 18.435 amps. And lastly, for the voltage, 189.75, cosine of 2000 T minus 18.435 degrees, and that would be in volts. And this is an example of using current divider.